What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to try my best to uh, put this seat back together for my little brother. Um, it's a Dodge, well my bad, a Ram. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sew it, but with a twist. I know I can sew it, but I got a feeling if I sew it by hand like I plan on doing, that it will come right back apart. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some of this here. Um, no stitch stuff, but um, you put heat to, but I'm gonna do it with a twist. I'm gonna use stitching. And I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that. And what I'm using to sew this thing up is a, a Dollar Tree sewing kit. It has the little gray color in there that I want, so it's perfect for it. Um, let me get everything, the needle and thread put together. I'm gonna show you guys the idea and I'll move on from there. As you guys can see, this little kit has a, you know, pretty good little items in it to do the things you need to get done. I guess with more than just doing this. So, all right, what I've done so far, guys, is measured out how much uh, tape I need. And I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it between the seam. So when I sew it together, this here, no peel will be in between it. So when I put the heat on it, I should get a little bit of the adhesive on the outside also. That is the plan. Like I said before, I could have easily just stitched this up, but I had a feeling jumping in and out of the truck would have tore it right back up. So I'm hoping this would give it a little bit more stability, a little bit more strength to it to uh, hold together. So let me get this thing sewed up, guys, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm about halfway through with this thing. And uh, what I didn't tell you about the uh, peel and stick, it's like a two-sided uh, adhesive. So what I'm doing, I'm putting it on both sides, like I said before, and it holds it. And then I'm going through, and then I'm gonna get my heat gun and try to put this together. And hope that will help it stick together a little bit harder than just sticking it. Uh, stitching it like I've been doing or like I could have done without the two-sided tape. All right guys, let me finish up All right Done with all the sewing So what I'm gonna do now is use my hair dryer here. Well a hair dryer not mine and uh, heat up the Two-sided because that's what it's used for um, Also to add guys or I should tell you guys in the beginning this will not be a professional looking job, a pretty job, but it will get you through until you can get to the professional. So let me heat this up and uh, see what it looks like. here's the finished product um, I think it did pretty good um, you can feel the thickness and that two-sided tape behind that that was my main goal in this whole DIY I guess you can say I could have did a lot of things better or more I guess you can say but it wasn't about that it was all about trying to show you guys the cheap and effective way to get this done until you can get to a professional. Now, I think I got this in Walmart for $2 or something like that. And the sewing kit, like I told you, out of Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, I, like I said, I could have got some better yarn and I could have got some, you know, thicker needles and a uh, that and and took my time and probably did the whole thing like that that was taking too long if i wanted this to be a professional job i would have did everything i just told you and then did it that way once again it's not about that it's about a quick way so if you guys are looking for a quick way i would say use this use your uh heat gun use your hair dryer and uh good because i could feel the tackiness doing exactly what I wanted it to do. So hopefully that'll help that thread even bind in a little bit better and hold and last. I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna do too. 
Um, I'll also do like a month review. I think it is the 10th of October right now. November the 10th, I'll do a follow-up just to show you guys how it did. Um, might not even do, if, if something goes wrong, if it starts to tear, I'll show you uh, quicker than that. But if not, a month. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. What's up, guys? Also, it's been so long since I made this video. I said I might as well go do an update. Uh, I'm going to go back and check the stamp and show you just how long it's been since I've done this video. Uh, but I want to show you that it's still holding up. My little brother has his truck back and he's been driving, jumping in and out of it. And um, it's still holding. Still holding. I'm pulling it out, guys. You see, no cushion. But uh, like I said before in this video, this just is a quick way. This is just a quick way to, you know, get it done and not have your cushion falling out all over the place. So, yeah, it works. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.